Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video we are going to show you guys top 10 tips and tricks regarding Redmi Note 4 or top 10 software features of the MIUI 8. If you have any other Xiaomi device then most of these tricks will work for your device too. And I said we because I am collaborating with Dharmik Patel from Android Tricks in this video. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. So without further delay, let's get started. So the first easy trick is to rearrange icons on your home screen. You just have to pinch in in MIUI 8 or you can long press on an empty space on your home screen and then just shake your phone. All the icons will rearrange themselves automatically. The second trick is regarding the dual applications and to enable that go into settings then go into dual apps and you can enable dual apps for any of the applications which you have installed. What is dual apps and to showcase this let me just create a dual application of Clash of Clans. It will take few seconds to create the second application and once the procedure is done you will see two Clash of Clans icon on your home screen and the one without the logo is the old Clash of Clans which I was using earlier and the one with dual app logo is the one which I have created right now. If I open up the old one then it will log into my normal account which I personally use but if I open up the second application now it will ask me to log in once again and here I can log into a different account or I can just play the game without logging into and my old account will be kept separately without affecting the new one or new one will not affect the old application by any chance. You can do exactly same thing for WhatsApp to use two numbers on one device with two applications. You can do that with Facebook, Snapchat or any other application that you want. So now coming to the next one that is you can lock the applications directly from your settings. All you have to do is go into the settings and scroll down to app lock. Now select the app which you want to lock. In this case I'm gonna lock the notes application. However I don't recommend to use that. You can use Google Keep instead. But anyway moving further once you select the application which you want to lock there's an option of setting which allows you to customize it more. For example, you can either set it to lock again only when you lock the application or you can set it to lock every time you leave the application. In this case, I'm gonna take the option 2 and let me show you that in action. As you can see, this is the notes app and when I open it, I need to input my pattern or what I can do is use my fingerprint. Well, this is Dhananjay's phone, so Dhananjay's fingerprint in this case. Now the next trick is regarding second space which is like a guest mode on this device. To enable that go into settings then go into second space and select turn on second space over here. And once you boot into the second space it will be completely different space. If you go into gallery application you will not see a single photo which was present in our original device because this is a second space which is completely private. If we go into manage over here then we can add different things to the second space like adding a password to second space then it will ask you whether you want to import photos or not. I am going to skip this one because I want the second space to be completely new. You can import files, you can import applications if you want and you are all set. That's how you can use second space on your device. If you want to switch to the original device that you have then just click on switch. It will ask for your fingerprint sensor or it will ask you to input your password. Once you do that it will log into your normal device. Well you know what if I had to select one best trick from this video I would select this one. I'll just love how easily you can access this device in one hand with this one hand mode. All you have to do is slide your finger from the home button to left or right as per your wish and boom there you go. This is the one hand mode and now you can easily access your device and do whatever you want with your other hand. So the next trick is regarding quick ball and you must have seen this on iPhones. If your friends have iPhone then you must have seen something similar to this. To enable that go into settings then go into additional settings then go into quick ball over here and turn on quick ball which will give you a bunch of shortcuts. If you press on screenshot icon it will take a screenshot immediately. If you press on back button it will go back. If you press on home button it will go to home which is quite obvious and you can move that quick ball anywhere you want. And if you do not click on the quick ball then it will fade a little bit so that it won't interrupt in other applications or it won't be so visible that you will focus on the quick ball only. Now this feature allows you to take a long screenshot of the whole conversation. This is basically useful for WhatsApp or Twitter or website. All you have to do is take a normal screenshot and then press that screenshot and there you will find an option of scroll. Now hit that and enjoy. You can go fast if you want or you can press this button to stop it. And there you go. You have your HD screenshot of your device or website or WhatsApp chat or whatever you wish to. So the next trick is regarding the notification bar and you can go into the notification bar by swiping down on your home screen. Once you go over there you will see multiple quick setting styles over here. You can enable or disable them. If you click on more you can rearrange all these styles too. 
like if you want the read mode to be on the top then you can select read mode and drag it on the top and it will reflect into the quick settings toggles immediately and as we are talking about the read mode it is an amazing mode which you should use so as soon as we click on read mode you can see that the screen will turn completely yellowish and that's our next trick too long pressing on the read mode will take you to the settings of it you can enable read mode you can select the strength of the read mode too and not only this you can choose it which applications are supposed to be using read mode only so that next time you use that application it will turn into read mode automatically so let's add mi store application in the read mode settings and now whenever you open mi store application read mode will be enabled automatically let's assume you use google play books application to read different books then as soon as you open that particular application read mode will be enabled automatically you can add as many applications as you want Coming to the next one, it is about how you interact with your flashlight and this is by far the coolest way to turn on the flashlight. All you have to do is press the home button and it will turn it on for 7 seconds or you can press the lock button once it is on so that it will be on till the time you press the lock button again. I really love how easy it is to turn on the flashlight on this device, well obviously Motorola has even better ways but still. Even this is very cool way to turn on the flashlight as you might not need it daily but when you need it, you need it in emergency. Wallpapers are extremely important and on MIUI 8, you can even change lock screen wallpapers periodically without even doing anything. Just go on that lock screen and then press on those four dots over there, you will get a different menu. You can change different wallpapers from here itself but let's go into settings. Now you can select different wallpapers which are supposed to be there on the lock screen and these wallpapers will keep on changing automatically. So if you want scenery wallpapers to be there then you can select that or deselect that according to your choice. Once you hit apply, the wallpapers will change after 10 to 15 minutes automatically which is an awesome thing in my opinion and I personally like it very much. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video then let me know about that in the comment section box below. As I said, this video was shot in collaboration with Dharmik Patel from Android Tricks. If you have not subscribed to his channel yet, then I'll give the direct link of his channel in the description box below. He makes some awesome content which you will not regret watching. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button on his channel too. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.